finals always exposes every bit of your flaws, like on the biggest stage, right? And the biggest flaw that we've been saying time and time again about the Dallas Mavericks is they're too dependent on all world scores and they don't have any ancillary pieces. And the other criticism we, me and you always have is Luca and his propensity to just get into it with referees. And it felt like that meltdown was coming, right? Like, yeah, you can see the buildup. You can you definitely can see, see the, the buildup. Build and even like, and I do want to get your take on the last foul, but in my opinion, there's no reason why you even try to go take that chance with show four me, minutes left. Show me someone. So I'm sure they're out there. They're Luca defenders, and I'm not going to skewer Luca. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not that dude. Like I'm not about to come on here. But if you can show me a clip of Luca taking a charge, I'd like to see it. And I only say that he's because, taken a like, couple this this postseason, but not like that, right? That was just a clear. Like well, you were not well, going to win that argument. How many years has he played in the NBA? Uh, six, four. Uh, six, you you six. referenced a couple charges, and I would challenge you to show me. Like my my point is that was so out of character. Currently for, looking for up the, the the Luca charge compilation on YouTube. Like that's not <laughs> his bag defensively. Is all I'm saying, right? Like so that's not even. I probably shouldn't have said it, but it was in, it was in support of your point. Like that was so out of character. Like why are you doing that at five five fouls? Um, you've been melting down for the last two minutes, and now you're gonna. That's so out of character for you. Yeah. I think, and then the defiance that Luca had after that, right, with the in the presser. I think Tim McMahon asked him a question, and he bl- about the calls, and he just blamed the refs and told them to be better. When the referees, Roger, you've been a defender your whole career. They're not one. They're not going to give you that call. Like, and second of all, you weren't even set. You just kind of fell down. You saw that he was that that Jalen was trying to push you which is minimal contact, and then you try to flop, and then you then because you're Luka Doncic and it's a six foul, they have to challenge. But that never that challenge never had a chance. That challenge it never had a chance. It was an obligatory, hey man, like it's gotta be done. You are correct, Logan. Um the NB, the NBA creates it's, first of all, uh, l- let me say this about Luca. He's he's gotta grow up. Like he's got to, he's got to grow up in that space. And I was someone that had history with the refs and I would be into it with refs. And so I'm telling you firsthand, like it it is distracting, um, not only to you, but to your team. And I had a lot of conversations with coaches in regards to that. The difference between Luca and I, um, is in the void between our, our roles on teams and our ability to, to do things for a team and just us as players is so vast. It didn't really matter if I did it. Now, on some teams where I played a bigger role, it mattered more than others, but I was always an ancillary piece. You are the show. Yeah. You can't be doing that. Like, <laughs> quite frankly, I was paid fractions of what other people were paid. That wasn't, wasn't my job to be the stabilizing force. I don't get paid to keep the troops together and run. You want the troops? Get, you get, I'm on the troops. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Like you get paid to do that. And so he's got to grow up. Now, all of us had to grow up. Every player that came into the league has had to go through some sort of, you know, um, journey to, to grow and morph into the player that can win championships. So he's no different. Um, but he he has to do it because that that has that has to stop like that. I I, I can't remember a star in the, in that moment like having that that big of a you moment in the finals. Having out. you can't foul out. Not the way you did with your not the way he did because it was two straight like stupid mm-hmm. ass fouls that he had. You right? like dove. You like dove at a like into somebody's legs at a ball. Like it was it was just weird. Yeah, it was weird. You can't do that in an elimination game. If you're the best player, you can't do that. And I think, like, reputationally, this is a Luca reputation. <clears throat> Excuse well, me. This well, is a Luca reputation. Go ahead. Yeah. No, I'm sorry to cut you off. It is a Luca thing. But this, this, the, the NBA creates this. I've been mm-hmm. on here before. Like, the NBA creates this. They, they, they treat their stars because this is entertainment, right? At some level, this is entertainment. Rightfully so. It is what it yeah, is. Not mad at you. But through the course of a regular season, Guys are accustomed to getting certain 
type of treatment. Yeah. Through, through 82, there is a, a, a treatment level that you get. And we're human beings and we're creatures of habit. And so we start to acclimate to the treatment that we get. And you start to understand, like I understood. I went to the basket a lot in college. Like I was a rim, I was at the rim player. I wasn't a jump shooter, but it became very evident that like, you know, athletically, you know, it was more difficult in the, in the NBA setting, but I was not getting those calls. What is the point of just going in there? Yeah. Like it, it, I'm going to morph into something else. So I, my brain started to wrap around like, bro, that that's not, it's not going to be for you. Right. Like it's so, so I say that to say that when you, when you change the whistle on those guys, whether it's for the playoffs or, you know, because like, you know, maybe they're looking at their peer now and you, you know, you just are going to let them quote unquote play tonight. You know, like there's a lot that goes into this, but the ref, the, the way they are ref throughout the course of the season creates their expectation of calls. Yeah. Some I mean, guys, we've seen it with James Harden yeah. every, 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 every spring. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, go ahead. Keep going with your point. No, just, some, was, some guys are able to navigate that um, in a mature way and understand like, okay, that tonight I'm not getting those. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I tell a story all the time. Like people look, you believe me or you don't have to believe me. Kobe Bryant. In, in LA, I was playing for the Jazz. Um, I love this with, story. Hit me with an elbow, right? Bomb. Like, I was up in his space, crowding him. He swung through and clipped me with an elbow. Like, the ref called, the, uh, uh, whatever the call was. It might have just been an offensive foul or a technical. I don't know. But we started jawing right across from the scorer's table at each other. Kobe, Kobe looked at the motherfucking ref and told him to call it even tonight. Call it even tonight. I love this story, bro. Every time you tell it, I'm just getting the man. Like, the man looked at the ref in my presence. We're both standing there and told the man to call it even tonight. And also, the ref had no reaction. He wasn't even the ref. What tripped me out about it? It was so matter of fact and so like a, um, a direct order that I was taken aback. Like, oh shit! Like you're not even going to react to that as the ref. And you could look it up. Like I shot free throws that night as a player that rarely went to the free throw line to the degree that I did not normally shoot. Bro, that's many, bro. That is baby. So, Cause like what superstar says that those superstars want to get all their foul calls in the modern age, right? Like and that's, that's a fucking psychotic way of going about it to say, Hey bro, I need, I need y'all to call it even tonight to get that challenge to get even yeah, more of a challenge. No, no. I mean, his, I mean, his mindset was, was wild in that, right? Like, yo, we're yeah. just, the gloves are off tonight. Like, let me see him. Right. Um, yeah. Like, let me see him fucking knowing, we're in the street. Like, we're consciously in the street. knowing that I get all the calls to be like, no, fuck that. I want because for him, it's a different challenge. It's like, OK, I have to put in my mind because Roger's going to be more physical and we can call it however the fuck you call it. Yeah. And it really, really was going to manifest itself was on the other end where I never got calls yeah. on the on the when I had the ball. Right. Like, so. Yeah. So Kobe, Kobe, like I respected that. I still thought it was super crazy to hear, but That's you know, I respected that he was like, let's, let me see what he, let me see who he is without, 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 but my point, my overall point is stars. know. again, you're, I mean, you can every, see it in the knows. way that you can see it in the way that Luca reacted to the last two calls, right? It's like, like Oh my God, what the fuck? You, you yeah. had the audacity to do some shit like that. But on a bigger thing, on a, on an overall bigger example, I feel like this is just a, a Luca reputational series, not even just for the foul calls and the antics that go with the foul calls, but just the overall body of work right now. He's been brilliant, but it's been a Luca type brilliant where there's other stuff that there's other things in his game that left much to be desired, right? Like, yeah, he plays good defense spurts, but he's comically out of shape, man. He's and this is a recurring thing that we get we continue to see. You can't rely on Luca even a little bit defensively. Yeah, he had some spurts throughout throughout this playoffs, but like that's like something when your know, ins- inconsistent partner is like telling you everything is going to be good and has a two week stretch where it's good, and then you know, and then he just goes back to what he's been. You know what I'm saying? We all got them friends. Um, it's like my diet, bro. I, I mean, shit, you were t- you earned that, motherfucker. You earned it. You earned it, Flair. <laughs> but it's like that with Luca, right? Where it's okay. We have a two week stretch where you are good defensively. And then we see, I know there's been out throughout this, the uh, series, this series that we both seen where it's like, damn, Luca, you're not going to pick the dude up. Damn, Luca, you're not going to help the helper. Oh, you're just going to stand in the corner. You're going to do the, the, the 38 year old LeBron thing. 
and you're yeah. 25. Yeah, and you're 25, like, right. And you're 25. That's going to be the next step because he's always going to be brilliant offensively and his stats are always going to counteract the other stuff that he doesn't do on the floor. But when you have when you're trying to win titles, you have to do the things that we do see and the things that we don't see. And he's doing a lot of the things that we do see at a high level, but a lot of the things that we don't see, he's doing at a very low level at this point. And we need to see more of him do the little things if he's going to get back to this point and win at this juncture because the Celtics are doing all the little things that you see and all the things that you don't see. And that's why they're up 3-0 in the series. Yeah, I think as well said, he's at a crossroads of sorts, like a real pivotal kind of moment in his career, right? Because they've come so close. Um, and the pairing of of he and Kyrie, I mean, there are pieces that they still need. Um, yeah. They need, they need more ancillary support. pieces. Yeah, they, they need, need more, more support. secondary scoring. For sure. But but that's working now. That's paid dividends. Um, the young the young bigs, the moves that they made, going to be f- a good fit. Those are pieces. You've got a foundation. Where, where Luca, Luca has to decide how much being an all-time great means to him. He's an all-time great talent. Yeah. There's, it's undeniable. There's no question with a skill level, uh, offensively in particular, that is... Probably one of a kind, man. They're, I mean, it's it's unique, right? Like they're guys that can could fill it up, but like the his what he does at his size, um, and his skill level is a really unique combination of, of skill set and 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 whatnot. But that's only a piece of this puzzle in terms of all time greats, right? Like y- you watched Mike in the Last Dance talk about, you know, how maniacal he was about the work that he did and and how he held his teammates to this standard because. He did it that way. So it wasn't him talking about it. He was like, I, I tried to win every sprint, every you hear how Kobe talked about his his work ethic and teammates not being able to keep up with that. And you've heard teammates talk about that. Like you yeah. couldn't you couldn't keep up with that. He was raising the bar and setting the standard. Um so Luca has to decide how he how he wants to be what his legacy is gonna be. And and that's going to be directly tied to his ability to win championships and his ability to be in shape and have the level of stamina and and physicality that he needs to have to withstand you know the rigors of 82 and a playoff run and still be standing there in the playoffs now he could be injured and i don't if he is injured and i don't know um then that might that might be why he looks the way he looks but i don't think and I know people around. I don't think he takes care of his body the way he's supposed to take care of it. Man, 